What comes into your mind when you heard the word camping? For some, they may think that it is an animal known to be maango. For others, maybe it is good for pulutan or maybe kaaway ng kapitbahay. At Isabella State University, Cagayan Valley Small Ruminants Research Center, we bet on animals' potential for agribusiness. Goat in the Philippines is regarded as rural asset and a source of emergency cash for the family. However, production management gaps were observed that led to production inefficiency. Our journey started in 2009 when DOST Picard funded the Sibard Regional Goat Program. This program aimed to enhance the application of artificial insemination as breeding tool in support to the natural native. This will fast track the production of upgraded offspring which will perform better as compared to its native counterparts. The offspring will be utilized for the development of value-added Chevron products to improve its market share. To achieve this goal, ISU promoting a selection and breeding program among the farms. It assisted to produce a triple cross uniform slaughter goat known as Cagayan Valley Signature Breed. Alongside with upgrading, the research and development program also makes sure that the animals produced in the farms will be properly marketed and be turned into cash. Several value-added products in can and vacuum pack were developed. Slaughtering and carcass cutting procedures were also standardized in support to commercialization. In 2018, under the Innovative Systems in Advancing Technology Goat Production Program, we led a project to roll out the different technologies for science-based goat production through the Farmer Livestock School on Goat Enterprise Management. The ultimate goal of FLS Gen is to capacitate the participants with necessary technical and entrepreneurial knowledge to turn goat raising into an enterprise. Towards the end of the implementation year, the project was able to reach more than 3,000 goat raisers in different regions of the country in collaboration with different SUCs as well as DA and its attached agencies and with more than 100 local government units. One of the notable accomplishments of the project is the increase in holding capacity from 5 dose to 10 dose or more dose. With this number, the racer can now earn at least 50,000 pesos annually. The research and development framework was slowly transformed into an organized process that deals with goat food value chain through the DOST Picard technology transfer and commercialization programs. Today, the trained goat racers were organized into farmer associations and cooperatives. This will help to stabilize the post-production segment of the value chain. Under the National Agri-Aqua Technology Business Incubation Program, startup company was assisted to commercialize the various Chevron products. Last year, a private company invested for a meat processing facility dedicated for Chevron. The USTP car continue its support by providing assistance to the operation of the private-led meat processing facility under its startup program. The company is envisioned to introduce a social enterprise played by every enthusiast racers and to capture wider market areas to sustain the business. I hope we inspire you with our story. Indeed, with research and development, we can improve the status of industry we are working with. With this, I am inviting all of you to join us as we continue with our journey until we reach our ultimate goal to make goat raising as one of the key players of the Philippine livestock sector.